In this video, I'm going to solve this question. You estimate the multiple regression y equal to a plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus u with a large sample. Let t1 be the test statistic for testing the null hypothesis b1 equal to 0 and t2 be the test statistic for testing the null hypothesis b2 equal to 0. Suppose you test the joint null hypothesis that b1 equal to b2 equal to 0 using the principle Reject the null if either T1 or T2 exceeds 1.96 in absolute value. Taking T1 and T2 to be independently distributed, we have to choose which one of these is going to be correct. Now let's take a look at the information that's given to us. So we are testing the joint null hypothesis that B1 equal to B2 equal to 0. That means the null hypothesis that we are working with is B1 equal to B2 equal to 0 and we are also given the rejection rule for this null hypothesis. So the rejection rule is that we are going to reject this null hypothesis if either T1 or T2 exceeds 1.96 in absolute value. That means we are going to reject this null hypothesis if either absolute value of T1 is greater than 1.96 or absolute value of T2 is greater than 1.96 where this T1 is corresponding to the null hypothesis B1 equal to 0 and this T2 is corresponding to the null hypothesis that B2 is equal to 0 and this information is given over here see it's given over here that let T1 be the test statistic for testing the null hypothesis that B1 equal to 0 and T2 be the test statistic for testing the null hypothesis that B2 equal to 0. So the T1 corresponds to this null hypothesis, T2 corresponds to this null hypothesis. And as you can see in the options, we have to talk about the probability of type 1 error. So in this case, the probability of type 1 error will be equal to the probability that absolute value of T1 is greater than 1.96 or absolute value of T2 is greater than 1.96. Note that your type 1 error is when you reject the null hypothesis given that null hypothesis is true. And these T values that you see over here, these correspond to these null hypothesis. And when we calculate the T values, we actually calculate that under the assumption that the null hypothesis is true. That means the probability of type 1 error is equal to the probability of the rejection of the null hypothesis, which is going to happen if this happens. Okay. Now, for the sake of convenience in the notation, let me call this A and let me call this B. This implies that this right hand side is just probability of A or B and we know that this can be written as probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Now using this fact, I can write that the probability of type 1 error is equal to the probability that absolute value of T1 is greater than 1.96 plus the probability that absolute value of T2 is greater than 1.96 minus the probability that absolute value of T1 is greater than 1.96 intersection absolute value of T2 is greater than 1.96. Okay, now let's see what are these probability values. First of all, let's solve for this expression. So, first of all, let's try to find the probability that absolute value of T1 is greater than 1.96. Note that we are given in the question that the sample that we are dealing with is a large sample. And this T1 corresponds to the null that B1 is equal to 0. So, let's try to visualize what is this probability equal to. Because we are working with a large sample, there won't be much difference between T and Z. So I can draw a standard normal distribution over here. And we have to find the probability that absolute value of T1 is greater than 1.96. This implies that T1 is greater than 
और t1 वन इज लेस देन माइनस वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ओके सो यू कैन हैव वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स ओवर हेयर बिकॉज दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दिस इज जीरो एंड माइनस वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स विल बी समवेयर ओवर हेयर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस प्रॉबिलिटी एंड वंस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट वी आर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव अ लार्ज सैम्पल सो इट वोट मेक एनी डिफरेंस वेदर आई वर्क विथ टी और जेड Now you won't have the z tables in the exam to figure out these probabilities, but the value that is given over here is something that we work with quite often. So at this stage of the exam preparation, you should definitely know that the probability corresponding to this area will be zero point zero two five, and the probability corresponding to this area will also be zero point zero two five. That means the total probability that absolute value of t one is greater than one point nine six is zero point zero two five. Plus zero point zero two five. This is equal to zero point zero five. If you want, you can check these values from the Z table or T table, whatever you want to use. But in the exam, you will not have these tables, so you should know some basic values and their corresponding probabilities. Okay. Now, similarly, let's try to find this probability. Now, T two is corresponding to the null that B two is equal to zero. Once again, you can have the same visualization even for this part. that means even this probability will be equal to 0.05 so the probability that absolute value of t1 is greater than 1.96 is 0.05 the probability that absolute value of t2 is greater than 1.96 is 0.05 but we also have a third term the third term is the probability of the intersection of both of these now we are already given in the question that t1 and t2 are independently distributed that's the last line of the question So if t1 and t2 are independently distributed this is a and this is b that means i can write this probability as probability of a multiplied with probability of b because these are independently distributed and we have already found these individual probabilities so the final term is going to be 0.05 multiplied with 0.05 this is your probability of type 1 error so your probability of type 1 error in this case is 0.05 plus 0.05 minus the product of these 0.05s so this is equal to 0.1 minus 0.0025 and this is equal to 0.0975 or 9.75% So the probability of type one error is nine point seven five percent. That means the right answer is part C. The probability of error type one is more than five percent in this case. Okay, so this is all for this question.